Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about whether rabbits should be kept alone or with a companion in the most unbiased way possible, just purely based off scientific research. So lately I found myself gathering research on whether rabbits can be kept alone, the consequences of rabbits being housed alone and all that jazz, to try and piece together as much solid evidence as possible to answer this question for us all. Unfortunately, companion rabbits have very little scientific research done on them. There are studies on their behaviour, diet and other things, but not as many as other animals such as dogs or cats. And this is where welfare issues can arise. If we don't truly understand a species, how can we properly care for them or make assumptions about their welfare? The RSPCA say rabbits can develop abnormal behaviours and may suffer if you leave them on their own. They say you should keep your rabbit with at least one other friendly rabbit, unless you're advised otherwise by a vet or qualified animal behaviourist. The PDSA state that rabbits kept on their own often get lonely and stressed. This can lead to serious problems with their behaviour, such as aggression. As much as we love our bunnies, human company isn't a replacement for having a rabbit friend. They have different needs and communicate in different ways. This next study is really interesting read and is much more recent study. I've linked it in the description for anyone who wants to read it. The study focuses on rabbit welfare, how it can be improved and what issues are most prevalent in pet rabbits. The study found so many ways in which we can improve rabbit welfare, including improving research on the species to better our understanding, as unfortunately not as many behavioural studies have been done on rabbits, and this impacts our understanding of what they truly need. So in other words, to truly answer a lot of these welfare questions, like can rabbits live alone, we need to be doing a lot more research into the species but they did find many ways in which rabbit experts suggest we are failing our furry friends. The list was absolutely huge. If you want to check it out, the full list is in the study and the link is in the description to this video. The Rabbit Welfare Association and Fund, or RWAF for short, says rabbits are highly social creatures. This means they need company and that company should be from other rabbits. No matter how hard we try, we can't give our pet rabbits as much company as another rabbit can. Our pet rabbits are wild rabbits at heart. And in the wild, they rely on the company of other warren members, not only to keep warm in winter, but also to warn them if predators are around. So a single rabbit will feel anxious. It will need to be on alert for danger 24 seven and never completely relax because there is no other rabbit to let it know when a predator is near. Single rabbits are proven to show behaviours that indicate negative welfare, such as bar biting, so having a companion is thought to reduce stress for them. Rabbits only really speak rabbit. They don't speak English, they don't speak guinea pig, they don't speak cat, but they speak rabbit really well. They can communicate with each other and those subtle little body language signs that we miss, they understand. Studies have shown that rabbits value the company of other rabbits as much as they value food. We wouldn't dream of keeping food from them, so why starve them emotionally by keeping them alone? I know many people are really against rabbits being kept alone, and personally I think they should only be kept alone if a health condition or behavioural issue prevents them from being housed safely with another rabbit. As many of the studies I found state, rabbits often display less abnormal behaviours, are more active and are less apprehensive with a companion around. But I also know and have worked with singly housed rabbits with no behaviour or health issues that didn't display abnormal behaviours and seemed completely content with their life. But would they be that bit more content if they had a companion? Only further studies in rabbit behaviour will determine this. Lots of the behavioural studies I found to do with companionship in rabbits were quite old and done on laboratory rabbits which lead completely different lifestyles to that of a companion animal. Laboratory rabbits experience quite horrible lives, often given restricted space, they're tested on 
and are generally much more fearful than pet bunnies. I don't think we can take evidence from these behavioural studies done on laboratory rabbits and apply it to pet rabbits, as their experiences are so different. Other studies I found were done on wild rabbits, which our domestic bunnies do share a lot of innate behavioural drives with, such as foraging, companionship, chewing, burrowing and many more. But we also have to recognise that the domestication process has changed them and made them into their own species. With all the research I found and my own experience, I think companionship from another rabbit is an important part of their welfare. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think rabbits can live alone or should they have a compatible companion?